Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Here we are, we're out on the lake. A question I get all the time. Matter of fact, I get a lot of flag for this. When I tell you I have a fantastic set of baseline setting, all I ever hear is, well, if you come down to here to Muddahoochee River or come down here to Mud Pie River, and you, you see that muddy water and you'll know that you've got to change them settings. I never change my settings. My picture is just as beautiful every single day because I have a wonderful set of baseline settings. Now, I will say this, the baseline settings may differ for your unit, but once you get that good solid area of baseline settings, it's not gonna change much. And, and I'm telling you, I've been everywhere from the Gulf up to Missouri to Texas to Alabama, and they don't change. Now somebody's gonna say, yeah, let me see the water, all right. You don't see the water. So I put on a, it's a little old crankbait. Crankbait, let's catch them on today, right there. And let me see if I can get this to show. There it is. We have literally two inches of visibility. And I don't know if you saw it. I'm sure somebody say, oh, I didn't get to see it. Well, it's two inches of visibility. We're in literally mud. We're in the middle of a, uh, this is a lake. It's an oxbow lake around some farmland. So let's get to looking at the video and you tell me whether or not they're clear. And I'll let you know, hey, clear or not. But I'm here to tell you, it's clear. It's just as clear as it is in clear water to me because I have a good set of the, uh, good understanding of the settings and what they adjust and a good set of baseline settings. And they are on the money. And we're gonna go through those first and then we're gonna take a look at the water secondly. Here we go. So we are in uh, rusted steel. I'm using about 50 foot. Um, pretty decent, you know, decently shallow water, but I'm going to tell you one thing. Um, this has two inches of visibility at the absolute most. Um, but first I want to go through, um, and this is very clear. I mean, you don't see a lot of particles on the water, um, but I'm going to go through my settings. Gain 68, my depth range never goes below 15 feet. Uh, usually it's about plus eight on the actual depth forward range, 50 foot. Uh, as you can see, rust of the steel color gain is about 80%. So I haven't dropped that down to hide anything. Color limit, of course, zero. Haven't used that to hide anything, just in case people are going to ask for that. Uh, layout, as you know, beam icon off. That lets you know that it's uh, been calibrated. Um, there's no grid overlay on this. I do use it on perspective mode. Um, reverse range, usually use it in default. That way I can hide my little... Um, overlay data up in the corner noise reject low that's my normal ghost reject off tvg low so you know i haven't changed anything two and a half foot on my install depth that helps me see my bait splash when i'm in the water helps me see that crankbait when it's coming down and things like that and um, focus um, i'll show you when you're in very very shallow water that one particular beam that's about five to ten foot that sometimes will get a little bit off and you really can't get it perfect uh, until you get out to deeper water where you can really line that up. Uh, you'll notice that sometimes on the videos, but as a whole, everything is exactly what I use. guys what do you think i'm telling you right now when you find that perfect set of baseline settings you don't have to deviate much from it i know a lot of people are going to say you know uh you know in some videos you say the fit settings they are they do move some from from unit to unit some units 68 is great some units 65 is great but what i have found is when you get that dialed in your set of baseline settings you won't have to change it much regardless of the water you go fish regardless of what you're fishing the depth you're fishing it does not matter so guys thanks for watching thanks for subscribing i want to thank all the people that sponsor me jb3 rods baby they hooking me up with the gg rods they make them hey gotta remember rattle trap because that's one of the things that we were hammering on today rattle trap i mean come on man that right there is a bad dude i don't know if you can see that good that dude is bad 
Got the circuit board build, triple grip hooks, and beat it. It's so on the money. I'm throwing it on two different rods today. Throwing it on the Cadian and throwing it on JB3 Redman. The Cadian is the GG line of rods. Go check them out at my website. Of course, Rattle Trap. Man, they're awesome. And you know I'm using some at mounts. I got to do this every now and then, baby. Got to pay the bills. And then, after all that's said and done, we're going to ring that bell. Hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you don't know, we got a rod giveaway going on right now for a complete set of these rods. Why are you not there? Why are you not sharing and tagging and getting involved and getting interest for almost $800 worth of rods for free? Sent to Alice. Represent the GG brand, baby. Let's do it. Ring the bell.